Among the endless selection of shows out there, nothing quite compares to the magic of Korean romance dramas. From heartwarming meet-cutes to intense love triangles, these stories have a way of capturing emotions like no other. Whether you're a longtime fan or new to K-romance, get ready to fall in love all over again. Here's our curated list of the best Korean romance dramas you need to watch. Before moving on, make sure to hit that subscribe button so you won't miss any future updates. Love Next Door. Choi Sung-hyo is the most noteworthy young architect in Korea, and he runs the architecture firm Atelier In. Not only is he nearly perfect as an architect, but he is also very attractive and has a great personality. While growing up, Bae Seok Ryu's life was smooth sailing. During her school days, she never missed ranking first academically at her school. After graduating from university, she was hired by a large company. She worked hard as a project manager, but for some reason, she quit her job. She has been unemployed since then. She meets Choi Sung Hyo. <laughs> It's okay to not be okay. Moon Gang Tae is a community health worker at a psychiatric ward who is blessed with everything, including a great body, smarts, ability to sympathize with others, and more. Meanwhile, Ko Moon Young is a popular writer of children's literature who, due to suffering from an antisocial personality disorder, seems extremely selfish, arrogant, and rude. Moon Gang Tae denies love, and Ko Moon Young doesn't know it. The two defy fate and fall in love, finding their souls and identities in the process. <laughs> See you in my 19th life. Banji Yum has an extraordinary ability. She can remember the memories of all her past lives. Repeating her reincarnation for nearly a thousand years, Banji Yum has been living all her lives diligently. After her previous life is cut short by a tragic accident, she sets out to reconnect with the people of her past life in her current one, and decides to find a man named Moon Seo Ha, whom she met in her 18th life. Will memories of her 18th life sabotage romance in her 19th? Or will love endure across different lives? <laughs> One spring night, Lee Jong-in decides to prioritize happiness in her life. She works as a librarian. Her longtime boyfriend is Kwon gi -seok. He has impressive credentials like a good job as a department head at a bank, wealthy family, handsome and smart. Yu Ji Ho is a pharmacist and a single dad. In stumbles into Yu Ji Ho's pharmacy one day, and what begins as an innocent daily interaction develops into a deeper attachment as the two find themselves drawn to one another. They embark on a secret friendship while navigating the minefield of familial and societal expectations. <laughs> What's wrong with Secretary Kim? The series revolves around the narcissistic Lee Young Joon, the vice president of a company run by his family. He is very self-absorbed and thinks highly of himself, 
so much that he barely acknowledges the people around him. Lee Young Joon has a capable and patient secretary, Kim Mi So, who has remained by his side and worked diligently for nine years without any romantic involvement. However, Mi So now wants to set her life and focus on herself. So when she decides to resign from her job, hilarious misunderstandings ensue. After nine years of their strictly workplace relationship, can it now develop in something more? The Legend of the Blue Sea. In 1598, newly appointed Governor Dam Ryung stays at an inn run by Mr. Yang, where he encounters a captured mermaid named Sim Chung. That night, Dam Ryung releases her into the ocean, and as she swims away, Sim Chung reaches out her hand to him. Fast forward to the present day, Jun Jae, a charismatic con man with magical abilities, works with his partners Nam Du and Tayo. After a successful swindle, Jun Jae travels abroad and stays at an oceanside resort. Sim Chung, swept up in a tidal wave, washes ashore near the resort. She sees Jun Jae. Can Sim Chung survive her strange new environment while also helping Jun Jae avoid the dangers that await him? It's your time to find out. I don't know <laughs> Queen of Tears. Baek Hyun Woo works as the legal director for Conglomerate Queens Group. He is the most successful person to have come from his hometown village of Yongduri and he is the pride of that village. Baek Hyun Woo is married to Hong Hai In, who is the daughter of the family that owns and operates Queen's Group. She is known as the Arrogant Queen at Queen's department store. Queen of Tears will tell the miraculous, thrilling, and humorous love story of this married couple, who manages to survive a crisis and stay together against all odds. <laughs> <laughs> Hometown Cha Cha Cha. Yoon Hye Jin works as a dentist. She is mostly a realist, but due to her rightfulness, which is only a tiny part of her mind, her life changes. She ends up moving to the seaside village of Gong Jin. There, Yoon Hye Jin meets Hong Du Sik. She becomes curious about him. Hong Du Sik is called Chief Hong by the local residents. He is a handsome and smart man. Officially, he is unemployed, but he always seems busy. If somebody needs help, Hong Du Sik is the first one to appear and provide help. This romantic drama depicts the growing romance between the two, as well as the lives of other Gongjin's residents. And there you have it. Thank you for watching until the end and share your favorites and recommendations with us in the comments section. Once again, make sure to hit that subscribe button and let the good vibes roll.